On the table today, we have Sonic Boom Toys. Sonic Boom Toys? Yeah, Sonic Boom Toys. Sonic Boom Boom Toys? No, just Sonic Boom Toys. Oh, Sonic Boom 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 Toys. No, just Sonic Boom Toys. We're squirrels. We don't like hedgehogs. We do like tails, though. Let's just get on with this, guys. Sonic Boom Toys. Going backwards, here is the Sonic Boom Sonic vs. Burnbot set. It'll run you about 20 bucks at Toys R Us. I got this set because I needed a Sonic figure, and this one coming with a robot to attack made it that much more fun. On the back of the package, we get a quick little image demonstration of what's going on with Sonic and his rolling attack and the burn bot's uh, exploding panels. We also have this little boy who seems somewhat entertained, but also questioning what he is doing. There's a group photo of the cast up top and some of the other toys available, including Dr. Eggman, which I think I'm going to have to look for next. So out of the incredibly difficult to open package, we have the Burn Bot and Sonic, of course. So let's look at Sonic first, because he's our hero and main cool dot guy that we all love and adore. You okay, Sonic? This action figure is pretty simple overall. Uh, Sonic Boom had this supposedly awesome new redesign of the characters. A little taller, a little more aggressive. He's all wrapped up in tape on his hands and feet as if he's just really had a fight to the ages. A uh, little neckerchief, handkerchief thing going around to make himself just look like he has even more attitude. That's the trick with Sonic. Every time you do a new game or release, just amp up his attitude. Anyhow, we have articulation in each leg, just at the hip. We have full rotation shoulders, and they go out. Uh, it doesn't look like you have wrist, it doesn't really matter. And you've got head 360 rotation. Nice back of the head though, by the way, with all his uh, hedgehog quills kind of sticking out. Uh, he does not really roll much into a ball in this form, uh, but you wouldn't really expect it to. But if you wanted to, there you go with that. Uh, but just kind of a nice little general Sonic figure. I think it was well worth the price on him. You can get him with the robot or with the two pack, I think, and maybe a couple other sets. Now for the burn bot, which is funny because I guess he has really nothing to do with fire. Uh, he's more about the claws going on here that can uh, pinch metal and stretch out for very long distances. Uh, he is also known by Sonic as the claw bot, the Velocerator, or the Pinchatron 9000. Uh, nothing to do with fire coming out of my eyes or uh, thrust ports that sort of thing. So kind of funny on the name. Way to go, Dr. Eggman. As for toy, it's kind of neat. It looks really cool, very robot-like. Lots of uh, gears and ports and guns going on with this guy. Uh, almost feels like these are like little propellers on his shoulders, but they're not. They kind of have that feeling. And then we've got these pinchers that really don't do anything, which is unfortunate. You would have thought that we'd be pressing these little side buttons or something, but they're not buttons. They're just little whatevers. And so there's no articulation in these pinchers, which kind of really make him sick. Sad. But we do have an exploding panel feature, which is always kind of a worry on toys because will it explode in inopportune times or will it explode when you want it to? And it's a little bit of both. It's holding pretty steady right now, so that's good. I, you know, I could, oops, there you go. You really have to clunk him down to get the panel to fly off. But to get the panel to fly off like you want it to, Simply press in these two machine guns down here on his uh, lower torso. That way, it's going to eject his head and the front panel. Then, placing them back together, you've got your head here, and it's kind of like your simple projectile device in reverse. Snap that guy down, and it pops in really simply. And then just put the panel back on, and it hugs on pretty well. So, that overall is kind of a fun robot toy. A uh, little too bad on the pinchers, but I'm okay with it. Now, of course, the real way to destroy the Pinchatron 9000 is with Sonic and his special rolling ability. His special rolling ability. <clears throat> his special rolling ability. 
Now this is actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the history of toys. Usually 99% of the time when you get a toy and you see it in package and you take it out, it's always a little less cool than what you imagined it. Uh, but this time, I am impressed with this wheel device uh, like no other. It's just like actually a wheel. It's got a soft rubber grip, just like a tire, uh, around this shell that you snap Sonic in, who fits nice and snugly in, uh, no problems whatsoever. A very functionable toy just like he would be running really fast, but in toy form. So, what you simply do is get your claw bot in position, and we're going to simply roll Sonic into him at full speed. From another direction, and maybe straight onward. So yeah, that's kind of a fun functioning toy to play around with. The rolling and exploding features pull off well. So that is my dive into the world of Sonic Boom toys. I think they're pretty cool overall, and what's nice is even if you're not into Sonic Boom, because it might be on a channel you don't get, or it might be on a game platform you don't play with, uh, Sonic has been around for years and years and years, and these figures do good justice to it overall. That's what I have to say about that. Oh, Sonic Boom toys! Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Burnbot!